Welcome to Future Consideration, SB Nation's weekly NFL draft show. We're getting real close. That's Dan. He is our college football guy. This is true. Matt, you are an NFL guy, so also you're going to control true. that. Also true. Also yeah. true. We're going to start the show off the same way we do every week, which is reviewing, mocking the drafts, weekly mock draft on SBNation.com. Yes, we are. Let's start things off. We'll skip the Jameis Winston at number one. We've been there before. Yep. That's not changing. Number two, the Titans taking Marcus Mariota. This is a change from previous mock drafts. Yes. Certainly a position of need for the Titans and Mariota, the, the fastest quarterback, maybe the best quarterback in the draft. And while the situation isn't the greatest in Tennessee, still not a fan of that coaching staff, they do have an offensive line. They have invested in offense. Yeah. It's not the worst possible Washington uh, <laughs> situation for him to immediately go to. And it makes sense, yes. I, I think he's the best quarterback in the draft. and. If Tennessee can make a case for it themselves, hard not to grab that at number two. You would like to see Marietta go into an offense more tailored to a skill set. Yes. Uh, Ken Wisenhunt really does favor the huge, immobile, rocket-armed guy in the pocket, but it could still work. Yes, he's by no means a reach just because they need a quarterback. Correct. Which we've seen in years past. Let's move along. Well, yeah, let's bounce around to uh, number seven, the Bears taking Danny Shelton, yes. the big boy in the middle of the defensive line out of Washington. Productive and aggressive nose tackles, especially running that 3-4 that Vic Fangio is going to run. Not coming along all that often, especially early on. We've seen it in years past with a couple of, of big guys, but Danny Shelton could be an anchor for years and years to come with an aging, I believe it's Jeremiah now, yes. Ratliff. He's going to uh, be 34. Uh, right. And it's kind of a nice pick. You can bring on the rookie a little bit slowly. Mm -hmm. The Bears, historically bad on defense the last couple of years. Uh, fun fact they allowed 50 plus points in back to back games. The first time since 1923 that the Rochester Jeffersons did that. No! Yeah. All right, then they need to improve. Who isn't a Rochester Jeffersons fan? Everybody is. Let's stay with large men. Brandon Scherf at number nine I to the Giants. I do like large men, Dan. The name of our show, we're, we're going to change from future consideration to large men. Uh, Giants uh, need help on the offensive yes. line. Brandon Scherf, a very strong man. Giants were... 30th in the NFL in yards per carry, 3.6 yards so per good. carry. That's yeah. not good. That can stand to be improved. Scherf can help them do that. Yeah, they've got a Super Bowl winning quarterback. They've got the best young receiver in oh, football. Oh, back him. So, you know, take a, a weakness and make it a strength. All right. Pass rushing at number 16 seems a little bit weird, but actually yeah. may make sense. Uh, the Houston Texans taking Shane Ray out of uh, Missouri. Mizzou, yeah. a great place to get your defensive lineman from if you mm -hmm. have to just kind of Absolutely. close your eyes and point your finger. Uh, a great talent there. Not a huge position of need considering they just right. spent the number one overall pick on Jadevian Clowney. However, coming back from micro fracture, fracture surgery, yes. that's a long process. And it does, if you can have someone take up additional blockers so that JJ Watt can run free. It's never the worst thing to load up on pass rushers. We saw what the Giants did, albeit in a different system, with those four guys on the line. If if it's just a value play here, you have to take the biggest value. That yeah. defense is going to be scary there's, next there's year. There's no solution at quarterback for the Texans in this draft, I don't no. think. No, okay. Speaking of defense, the Eagles at number 20. Yeah, and mm -hmm. speaking of kind of curious picks, yeah. too. Uh, the Eagles taking Byron Jones, the cornerback out of UConn. Yes. Uh, a riser in the uh, in the draft. A riser, a bit raw. His athleticism cannot be denied. He jumped out of the building at the combine. Very good speed. Could uh, with Philly specifically could put project, excuse me, as a safety or a nickel corner depending on how Brandon Boykin looks. Yeah, it is kind of a curious pick with uh, their signings of Byron Maxwell and Walter Thurman. Not Locked the, in on the outside, not yeah. Not the hugest position of need, but because he can do that that, that nickel back, or nickel cornerback, right. I almost said nickel back. Oh, <laughs> it counts. Uh, yeah, but yeah, sure. it, it, especially Philadelphia, loading up on defensive talent, not a bad thing. Sure, sure. Uh, it's curious that they'd use their first pick for that, but yes. I, sure, I'll, I'll go with it. And uh, the Ravens at 26, yes. going with Brashad Perriman, yes. out of the wide receiver out of Central Florida. Quickly rising up boards, very talented, great size, unbelievable speed, a great burst out of his breaks. Makes sense to replace Torrey Smith, departed for San Francisco. And Steve Smith is still fun, disappeared sort of after the first few weeks of yeah. last year. And like, Your body you can, doesn't bounce back so quickly in your mid-30s. You can only count on an angrier old man receiver, which I love, yes. and I want him to succeed because you, what's better than an angry receiver? But they need they need you. Note to Steve Smith, we are not naysaying you. We, we like fully you. believe in you and Abs like you very much. Sir. Absolutely. Let's round this out with another we don't receiver. Want him to punch us. No. DGB. Uh, DGB to the Saints at 31 from right. Seattle. Now this mock has the Saints taking Randy Gregory at 13. Right. That, that satisfies a defensive need for Which them. Which we like. And then this is obviously, uh, while DGB is not a tight end, it certainly mm -hmm. has the size, the big target factor to make up for the loss of their all pro tight end to, to the Seahawks. In yeah, the big and trade. they lose Kenny Stills and yeah. Marcus Colson, probably not going to be there much longer. So he's DGB. Get, he's getting up there. Yeah. 
Value-wise, he's great. He's a first-round wide receiver. He's a huge, huge talent. He would just, as, as long as he doesn't find a place to party in New Orleans, it should be fine. And the tail end of Drew Brees' career, he should have, have big, interesting young targets. Yes. So, there it is. Whew, that's are some of the highlights from this week's mock draft. Be sure to check out the full thing for mocking the draft at SBNation.com.